Nice. I'm gonna put... No! Oh. No! <laughs> Good shot in the back! Welcome to the video, my friends. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to take a look at improving your performance with Warzone, but not only Warzone, any other game, really. I'm pretty sure I did this on my last PC, but since upgrading my PC or building a new PC altogether, I totally forgot to do these settings. And I noticed a huge difference for Warzone specifically, as that's pretty much my main game I'm playing at the moment. I'm just having a lot of fun with Warzone. The first thing we want to do, and what I definitely know from a fresh install, and a lot of people may not change, is our power and sleep settings. So go down to your start menu and type power, and sleep and sleep settings will appear and we want to go to additional power settings and this new window will open and we want to make sure we're on high performance so i put myself on ryzen high performance i think it just says high performance mode for intel cpus uh, but we can do additional uh, high performance ryzen balanced but high performance is what you want that's going to push the most performance from your ryzen cpu or your intel cpu towards anything game related or uh, well anything really on your pc it will, it will make it work work harder so again i just want to preface that you want to make sure your temperatures are fine you've got really good cooling uh that's going to cope with this extra load you're going to be putting on your pc make sure that your cooling solutions are adequate i just want to make sure you're aware of that because this will make your pc run warmer and you don't want any issues so make sure that that is all sorted before we go ahead from here on out Next thing we want to do is go back down to our start menu here and game mode settings. Make sure this game mode button here is switched on, which will optimize Windows for PC play, uh, optimize everything again for games. And then once that's on, go to graphic settings, make sure this top one here, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, reduce latency and perf improve performance. When you'll need to restart the PC for these changes to take effect. Make sure this is on also and you should... Uh, should notice uh, an improvement in performance i definitely did turning these on i totally forgot about these with my new pc build and i turned these on i was like oh my god that's like night and day so smooth okay the next one we want to do back down to our start menu and background apps open that up from our start menu and turn those off so none of these will be running in the background this is specifically uh, for the lower end spec pcs so this will all be turned off and not be running in the background to improve performance uh, for your background obviously apps being off in windows which will give you a bit more fps in games okay another one that i always always forget to do is my mouse settings so if we go to the start menu and type mouse should get mouse settings appear at the top and we want to do additional mouse options i believe and pointer options and i think it's the enhanced pointer precision um this is kind of like uh, mouse acceleration which you do not want you do not want that it makes it feel like you're in syrup uh, you will notice the difference if you turn that off straight away from inside, uh, well, Windows and games, because it will just make it just more one-to-one -one with your mouse movements. Make sure that is unticked. Okay, we're just going to quickly take a look at our NVIDIA control panel here. So I'm running a Ryzen 9 at 3900X and a 2070 Super, and my monitor can handle 165 hertz. So we make sure our monitor is set at that. We'll have the fastest, smoothest gameplay possible then to our eyes through our screen which will hopefully allow us to have better reactions and things like that. Now, if you go to manage 3D options, uh, this is what I've got set up, but you know, you don't have to have these exact settings, but I've got everything set to high performance. Of course, if you've got a better GPU than my 2070 Super, you can tinker with these and make your games look better, but I prefer to go for the high performance quality uh, settings and things like that and maximum performance there for power management mode and things like that so just quickly pause the video and go through my settings there if there's anything that you see that i may want to tweak myself to get even more performance just let me know in the comment section below but pretty much that there is where you want it so pause the video to get any of those settings there through the nvidia manage 3d settings for all games okay so next up we're going to go into warzone itself and take a quick look at some of the in-game settings and that should be pretty much about it so once we're inside Warzone, we're going to go to our options and graphics. First thing, full screen. If we are running in borderless or windowed, we will get a slight delay potentially from our movement to our screen action. So we want to make sure we're on full screen mode as that will reduce any delay that may possibly happen from being in borderless or windowed mode. Next, we want to make sure that our refresh rate, which we set in our control panel, 165 hertz, is set in game and our resolution matching at 100% resolution scale. Of course, we can tweak this to full performance 
but it's not necessarily needed in most cases. Further down, we will see vertical sync. I have this disabled because, again, this can introduce some delay from your movement in the real world to what you see on screen. Uh, if you have it enabled, though, it will get rid of any screen tear that you may have. So for those that don't like screen tear, have it enabled. But again, keep in mind that it could introduce some slight delay to your movements uh, with the mouse and keyboard to what you see on screen. Uh, I have it disabled, though, because I don't really experience screen tear. And um, I, I do feel the delay quite quite a bit. Uh, being used to warzone uh, as it's one of my favorite games at the moment nvidia highlights disabled this goes for shadow play as well that records the previous five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes whatever you may have set as if you have that disabled so you can't record shadow play the previous five minutes it can also increase your fps by about five to ten fps in games having that disabled it does use some resources from your gpu so having that disabled also uh, along with highlights can improve your performance nvidia reflex low latency i have it on enabled plus boost which will optimize system latency giving you an even better experience and smoother performance with your game going down here a lot of these you can pause and uh, copy the settings if you want some of them may be slightly different for you but for the most part these are what they'll be so just copy them as you see if anything sticks out i will say for instance the cache to spot shadows and sun shadows as you see as the description says on the right there these will cache to speed up rendering for future frames so this is giving us better performance so you want those on sometimes they can disable some settings like your render resolution as well can reset to 75 percent instead of 100 percent you'll notice it looking a bit muddier which you want to make sure every now and then if, if it looks a bit iffy that's probably why some of these settings uh, are changed but i think they may have fixed it in a newest update again going down everything else disabled low ray tracing of course off dlss i have it on quality now i am sacrificing about 10 fps from my boost that i've got from everything else being down but you need that that quality the image quality plus performance um, there's no good having great performance if you can't see the object you're trying to shoot in the distance because it's obscured by jaggies and uh, you know foliage that's a bit blurry and things like that in the distance if you have it on the highest quality possible plus performance you're going to have a better time seeing the enemy and your target you're trying to shoot at plus have the good fps so i have dlss with the nvidia on quality because if we go back we can see the sharpness of our character here on the main screen quite easily distinguishable now imagine that's the, in one of these bushes and you can see it much sharper sticking out around the edge of a wall but if i put it on ultra performance because we want all that extra fps you can definitely see straight away the murkiness everything kind of like starts to blend together there's aliasing introduced so everything starts to look jaggy and things start to blend together you see those bushes in the background are actually looking quite terrible now imagine that's a player that's peeking at 200 meters away you're not going to notice them through the edge of a wall that's blurry a bit of foliage and stuff like that so we have it on the highest possible quality so again i'm sacrificing that 10 fps i might have gained by having it on quality to improve that, that performance and quality overall for that competitive gameplay if you don't have at dlss though if you're an amd user have anti-aliasing on the maximum filmic smaa t2x which again has the same results but again being anti-aliased on full you will notice a drop in performance but you will get that quality and everything else disabled depth of field motion blurs never have those on film grain off and again audio i use home theater and these are the settings i will show them but uh, i don't really have a, a specific setting for better audio as my ears are quite sensitive as i mentioned i can hear footsteps and stuff pretty well anyway i may not pay attention to them but i, I can hear them fine <laughs> so um yeah it's just pretty much down to your preference and how good your hearing is uh, with the headphones or speakers whatever it is you may use i use headphones i use the asus rog fusion wireless headphones that i've covered in a previous video on my channel um so yeah home theater all of this i use the old modern warfare hit markers things like that voice chat um i like to hear the deaf mic noises when people rage when you kill them i have that on because it's, it's just super funny um, music I have off because you can hear the music sometimes in game when things happen it blasts music and that can stop you hearing noises so that's one tip I would probably say turn music off because you have random noises and music happen that can cover up footsteps and things so the one thing I'd say definitely have off would be uh, would be music and, and stuff like that so make sure mono audio is disabled as well so you can get that kind of left right audio if not surround sound audio so 
yeah, that's pretty much it. So music off. Um, and then anything else is kind of like field of view. I use 110. I'll just go through these so you can see them. Nothing different, really. Minimap shape square because it gives you 20% extra visibility on your minimap. You can see these corners here that will come out that you won't get on your circles. You might see a player there that you wouldn't see on there. So that's another bonus tip there for you. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below if this improved your game, especially with the Windows settings. Those will improve all around games on your PC. But this specifically for Warzone uh, should hopefully give you a better image quality performance and up your game and get more wins or more kills at the very least. So let me know in the comment section below and give any more tips you may have in the comment section below. I uh, really, really hope this helps you out. And, and of course, don't forget that these settings will make your PC run hotter. So make sure you have the equivalent temperature lowering tools, your fans, your water cooling, and then all of those things, if that makes any sense. That you're not going to melt your PC with all this, but, uh, you know, fingers crossed, you're, you're all set, you're all good, and you'll get, get all those wins soon enough. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy the video I create, and I will create more if you like what I make. And hit that dislike if you don't. Subscribe if you enjoy the content I create, and I'll see you peeps next time.